Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Kiera. This is Leah. This is Solo. And you're listening to He Said, We Said, back again. Happy Sunday. Let's get straight into the news. Wait, oh, yeah, Tuesday (laughs) for you guys. Okay, yeah. (laughs) Um, Super Bowl winners. We weren't here last week. We didn't discuss. I guess they technically weren't even done with the Super Bowl at that point, right? When we would have recorded. Right, right. So congratulations to, what was the teams? The Rams Rams. and the the Bengals. Yes. 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 For making the Super Bowl. They didn't win. But they made right. it there, right? But shout out to LA. That was a good time for the city. I would yeah. imagine if you were if yeah. you were there in the environment, you probably had a good time. For my people that I know that are from LA, they definitely were proud. Congratulations to them. I personally thought the halftime performance was a bit Luke, mm. but you know what? It wasn't for me. It was for the West Coast. So I feel like that's how I accept it. Uh-huh. Like even watching it, I was like, okay, this isn't bad. But 100%, if I were from LA, it would be like, this is it. Legendary. Yeah. But I yeah. still thought it was like I could sit through it. I thought it was good or I thought certain pieces were good. I thought Mary was weird. Um, the song that she chose, I was like, okay. No more drama? I was like, why do we change the vibe like that? Yeah, <laughs> We're from the club to needing the Kleenex. Like, what's going on here? So, yeah. I mean, it was a bit nostalgic, so I, I kind of enjoyed that bit. But was I just wowed or were there some, you know, crazy moments? No, but um, I still feel like the timeline was popping. I uh, felt... So. I was feeling like I was like going crazy because I saw so many people be like, this is the best halftime performance really? ever. And I'm like, have we been watching the same halftime shows? <laughs> like, it wasn't the best ever. I can admit that for sure. I just thought it was cool. Um, bringing all the people together. I thought it was cool. They all loosely related to Dre or, you know, it was obviously his songs, but nah, I wouldn't say the best ever. Well, congratulations to LA. Got your new stadium, got your new team, got your new ring. So shout out to y'all. Okay, um, next up in um, Quickies, Kim Potter. She was um, sentenced to two years. This comes after she um, killed Dante Wright. She reached for what she thought was her taser, ended up being her gun and shot and killed him. A lot of people are upset about this. What are your thoughts? Well, you know, I think it was the right sentence. Um, two years? <laughs> well, two years is a bit, you know. I thought she was just going to get off. So, I mean, it was the right verdict as, as in terms of finding her guilty. Two years, yeah, it could have been a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't buying the excuse from the beginning about the taser. You know, a lot of people were speaking out about, you know, basic training, how, you know, you know the difference between your 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 firearm and the taser. And so for that to be the defense, I thought it was pretty weak, but um, yeah, two years. How, Cause how many, how many years did old buddy for uh, killing Floyd got? I don't I remember. remember but, uh. I don't, I don't remember that either. I think that that's maybe my same feelings about it where I was like, okay, Yes, thank you. It's guilty or whatever, but at the same time, like, ain't two years. Who was it? One of the city girls was like, I got two years for fraud. <laughs> yeah, the two years is egregious. And I mean, oh, you get a was body. It, was, it, was that the clip of the Asian judge speaking about it? Yes. That was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't actually see the clip, but I was like, why is everybody up in arms about it? But okay, so that's what that was. Why are people up in arms? Um, because she was so sympathetic towards, you know, uh, Kim Potter, but people were pointing out all the different instances in which they had loved ones go up before her and how she was just a little bit cutthroat or cold blooded. Oh, okay. Pretty much just siding with her because of her white privilege. Wasn't she a cop? Was she? The judge used to be a cop. Is that what you're asking? No, the Kim. She wasn't? 
She's yeah, a cop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, I, I think maybe that's part of it too, right? Because I think a lot of times they, I guess, in the judicial like system, whenever they oh, have yeah. something like that, they kind of not side with police, but like she they pointed, she went, I saw yeah. the clip, and in the clip, right? she is saying, like, it is, hard, you know, officers put their life on the, on right. the line of duty every day, and it's a that's hard job and so. all that stuff. Now, there was somebody who spoke out against the sentencing. I'm assuming that they're an attorney. And so he was saying that he had a client that was sentenced to 40 something years by the same judge for breaking up a fight. Maybe it wasn't 40 something. It was longer than two years. Mm -hmm. They were breaking up a fight. And by them being sentenced, it caused them to be deported back to their country. And they don't have like they don't have access to their children. So they were just like, it's interesting that you had tears and sympathy for this this killer essentially yeah but when he came to my client you were very cutthroat and didn't give a damn yeah, so that was the one i saw well one of the ones i saw but yeah. okay i'm sure she's sleeping fine at night though so <laughs> i'm sure okay <laughs> um it let's take a break every day. Okay, now we're going to talk about y'all's favorite, Mr. West, Kanye West, that is. Um, A lot happened with him within the last week. I feel like the last couple months, it's been a lot with him. But first and foremost, he and Julia Fox are no longer together. They Mm -hmm. are now broken up. And she has made quite a few statements about it. People were accusing her of like being sad. And even the Daily Mail reported her storming out of the airport crying. She then responded saying she hasn't cried since 1997. So there's that. Um, <laughs> I got time for y'all. Look, she, got- <laughs> she had time. She actually did have a lot of time. Her and Azalea Banks were going back and forth. Apparently they're friends. Yes. They both are outing each other about drugs and all this other stuff. Julia had all kinds of receipts just a mess all right Mm. now let's go back to mr west yay has been harassing there's no other way to put it kim kardashian he and his issues with pete davidson aka skeet davidson as he likes to say are picking that up like i didn't know know it's gonna run so uh Come on. How childish. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a lot. But, you know, he's been doing that. And so while that's all been brewing, you know, he also has been having some issues with Kid Cudi. He has aired out Kid Cudi. Cudi has been, you know, making statements against Kanye as well. And then Kanye drops the, I guess, part one of his documentary, Gene Yuss. Mm-hmm. I think oh. I'm saying that correctly, exclusively to Netflix. We have our in-house counsel who watched oh, it. Um, what did you think? I mean, you know, we all know the story of Kanye. Do we? All, yeah. What story? I don't know. Like, you know how he came up, how he was shopping beats to, you know, different acts, how he wanted to be a rapper, and everybody was kind of playing him to the left, saying, we just want your beats, and okay. how he was holding on for that deal, that deal, and uh-huh. finally got on with Rockefeller, and then the rest is history, right? Okay. Through the wire and college dropout and so forth. So this documentary, it's really just a bunch of old video clips um, because they were doing this, apparently they were taking all this footage, you know, in preparations of a documentary from when he was, you know, wow, you know, shopping those beats to Rockefeller. And, you know, of course, you got footage of him playing all this music and you are seeing like the early stages of college dropout being made. And, you know, he's he's in the circle, but he wants to get that rap deal. So um, I, I enjoyed it, man. Like, I, I really Love that era of Kanye, just seeing all that manifest and so forth. And then you see the relationship that he had with his mother and how she's so pivotal in his, you know, just giving him that support. Right. Is the girlfriend like, in it? No, oh. no. So um, I just wondering. It, it was cool, though. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't. Th- I was just like, let me just. How many parts it is it? I don't know. The only one part has been released so far. Hmm. So uh, I, I'd assume that they'd make about War parts, maybe, but yeah, so far just one. Okay, so I've they, heard this. It went stuff. all the way up until when he got signed to Rockefeller. Oh, okay. So this is wow. This might be four or five. This is like Kid <laughs> Kanye old videos and yeah, just. I all can of hear that. the fans all now. The what a visionary! And, yeah. He knew he was gonna make it. Yeah, that's I what like I've been though. seeing people say. I mean, look, I probably will watch it because I have heard good stuff about it. Um. 
So shout out to him. <laughs> I mean, it's it's funny because it's like, dang, man, this is like where we needed to stop. Because I wonder how wherever the part is going to be, wherever people feel like he kind of like shifted or where we feel like he shifted. I wonder how people are going to feel about that as they keep watching it or if it's going to change maybe their mindset on like, see, I told y'all he was just yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like, we'll see how, how it shapes up. But I'll definitely I'll definitely tune in. Yeah, so of course the next part is going to be him, you know, car crash and all that after. Oh, we didn't even get to the car right. crash? My why lord. Did think, why did no. I think you said we got to right after? When he so signed, he, when he signed with Rockefeller. So when Rockefeller introduced him to the Chicago oh. you know, crowd, like, hey, the new member of the Rockefeller team. He had just signed uh, his deal. Rockefeller, it's all so why did I think, wow, that's really dumb of me. Not dumb, but you know, like, dang, I really thought that he had signed after. No, I mean. Like, right after that. I didn't, no, but it's still no, close no. together, right? His yeah, so, so somewhere in between him signing it and him actually releasing, releasing the album, yeah, the car accident. Okay. Interesting. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's a lot of, you know, a lot of nice tidbits. Okay, I will watch it at some point in time. I will say, um, my friend and I, we were discussing how all these celebrities seem to have documented their journeys to whatever mm-hmm. very well. Like I've seen clips of like Kim Kardashian at like as a teenager talking about she's going to be famous one day. Just wait and see. Like I'm oh, like, wow. I don't have enough like videos of me oh. in real time. Like I have hella childhood stuff, but like teenager adult Kiara, I don't have anything. I need to start Film yeah, maybe you should start filming yourself. I need um, to. I don't have video really either of myself. As far, I mean, I don't even have that much like childhood. I have a lot of pictures. Okay. I don't have a lot of like. Videos. I mean, back then you needed the whole right you know, camcorder and. Now we had now. the we had the camera. We was recording my brother. Were you? Well, oh. I mean, but well, like, he was nowadays. I mean, he was everybody can just boop. Yeah, like it's nothing to get footage now. If you don't have footage, you're an anomaly. Well, that's the thing. It's so yeah, easy. Yeah. We have so much yeah. access to this, and I don't take advantage of it. Even yeah. pictures, honestly. So, I need to do better about that. My dad was one of those. Like he always had the, the camcorder. Like yeah. I have uh-huh. so much stuff. So it was annoying at the time. Now I appreciate it. So maybe I need to be that annoying friend. That if you think about the everywhere. kids that. The kids now, they all have like these social media accounts they probably have no idea about and they're just going to get it and I'll have all their baby pictures. I'm like, that's, that's true. Like, when yeah. are you going to give your... Just scrub their platforms and... They're probably going to look at all them pictures and I can see kids being like, oh, delete, delete, mm-hmm. delete. Right, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I have all this. <laughs> Facts. Okay, let's talk about some music. The mayor of New York, mm-hmm. I cannot think of his name, Eric, Eric is it something. Davis? Adams, uh, he, his name is Eric Mayor, Mayor of New York. Okay, New York. he is sick and tired of the drill music. He wanted to thank you, Man, Eric Adams. You, was, you was on it, you was on it. <laughs> he is sick and tired of the drill music. He contributes or thinks that is contributing to the crime in New York and proposed banning the music. Okay? okay, well, then a few days later, we see him in a meeting with. Looks like about a dozen drill rappers, one being Mano, Manio, Mano, the older yeah. guy. With Scar. Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> was there uh, shaking hands with them. They had a conversation, an intelligent dialogue exchange between the two of them about drill music and where it comes from, et cetera. Da, 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 da. And Eric didn't say for sure if he was going to like. Re- the band. Right, or whatever. I mean, there's not an official ban in place, um, but I don't know if he's changed his mind or not, but he did acknowledge that it was a good conversation and this is the start of many and it looks like they're going to partner together and maybe make a drill song about not committing crimes. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I guess this is just so like reminiscent <laughs> of when rap music came out and, you know, there was just the big push for parental advisory and mm-hmm. all that. And it's like, especially in today's age, like the culture is like so many provocative different things going on. Now you want to ban some drill music? Like what is I guess that's kind of what I'm really thinking co- too. When you call it out, I yeah. guess it's like the drill music. I mean, you end up almost in a slippery slope of like, okay, well, what about this? And that's probably the if I were a drill rapper, it would be like, okay, so like how'd you feel about this music? And how'd you feel the about that? Music. Like yeah, right? So how, I mean, why are we kind of starting this now? And like, even if we were to agree to it, what is it going to lead to? 
if I were an artist, if I were a creative person, like, okay, so if you get away with this or if we let this happen, it's just going to be a continuous thing of, of the certain kind of music you want to explicitly ban out. Part of me thinks that this is all just some BS. Like, mm -hmm. I don't follow New York politics heavily, but I do know that this guy is uh, former cop. Well, yes, he is a former cop, but a lot of people just feel like he's not doing a good job. Hmm. I mean, granted, he just voted. got there. I'm like, who voted for this? I mean, he's a Democrat, right? So, but uh, he's one of the Democrats that kind of tiptoes. He kind of tiptoes, right? So maybe him calling out rap music is a way for one side to be like. Like, oh, okay. Like, I like this guy. And then him having a meeting with them, and then for they the come into guy. an agreement for the other side. Like, okay, like, you know, you're balanced. So I don't know. But to y'all's point, like, we are in the information age. If you ban drill music, most people are listening to their music on their devices yeah. or whatever anyway. So if you're banning it from the radio or the clubs, what is that what is that gonna do? Yeah, it's not like you just ban it from the radio and we have no outlet to listen to music, you know? Yeah, like, it's everything. very silly. What is he banning it from? Being played at restaurants? <laughs> like what is it? Maybe Love. if you're caught jamming it I in guess. the car, you get a ticket. I don't know. It's I like know. what does that even look like? Yeah. I don't know. So you're right. It could just be the whole pub publicity thing. Sounds stupid. <laughs> it does sound really stupid. Something else that sounds stupid, if you ask me, is Neo. And I love Neo. Y'all know, all yeah. three of us, actually, we are Neo fans. But I was not feeling what he had to say on a radio show talking about misogynistic lyrics. He was saying that um, as long as we women continue to dance to music that has misogynistic lyrics to them, rappers and I guess singers, too, are going to continue you to make this type of music and so his solution is that we just stop dancing to it when it plays hmm so should we solomon should we stop dancing <laughs> I, my bad i'm really sitting here trying to think of the neo songs that are like provocative or misogynistic but neo said check blank. me if you want to if you could <laughs> he said look y'all not listening to my music y'all listening to the other people's music that's so your problem but you know the honestly i feel like is that what it is that he's just not getting enough spins now and he's thinking we need to go back to the R&B when we, you know, loved our women and we do it. I don't know, man. That, I'm or is he just saying, just don't dance to it? I don't know. The I, I saw a clip. I don't know the context prior to the conversation, how they even got there. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say that it was directly tied to like his music and him trying to say something. I think he was just making a point that for you know, people criticizing music that is super misogynistic. There's too many people, too many women that are, I guess, Essentially okay with it, it because, you know, you go to the club, we're twerking to it, we're whatever. <laughs> so it can't be that bad, basically. It's just a weird, I guess, like solution to it. One, the question, like, I wonder how did that, like, how did we even how get there for up? him to say that? So I just, maybe I'll give a little credit and say, maybe he was just caught off guard and that's when he was just like, I don't know, stop dancing to <laughs> <laughs> like y'all listen to it like you enjoy it so are you really mad about it or if it was just like a hundred percent y'all need to stop blah 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 because that's how the headlines read yeah, he sounds like an <laughs> like, old guy right and, uh, <laughs> or maybe he's taking this year of the gentleman shit too far you know i don't know you gotta uh, to, you know you know trying to play up to his act or his brand or whatever I don't know what Neil's brand looks like now outside of my memory Suits. of like <laughs> Suits, how I remember hats, him. Uh, you know, older gentleman. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, speaking <laughs> of suits and hats, uh, your boy Anthony Hamilton in Music Soul Child Not went <laughs> head to head, toe to toe on a versus battle that. Honestly, on a scale of one to ten, how would I rate that? I think I'd give it a solid six point five. I was yeah, gonna, I was gonna say, say seven. 6 .5. Yeah, yeah. I think overall, I enjoyed it. There were definitely some heavy critiques. The three of us watched it together. Music Soul Child and his riffs and runs. Yeah. What? I was just like, why are you doing this? Like, uh, it was too much. <laughs> just it was too much. Stick to the song, sing it like it's sung on the radio, and you're good. 
You know, he didn't even have to sing some of the songs. People were just into it. But then you start doing all this. But you start doing mm-hmm. all of that and the crowd is confused. And now I can no longer sing with you because your mic too loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're off key. So if you're going to do it, make sure you really do it. You didn't prepare well enough. <laughs> no, no. Anthony prepared a little bit more, it seems. You know, yeah. he had his features. Uh, shout out to the Donald Jones. You know what's up? I didn't know that. Mm. But that catalog. Someone said he just played the triangle in that song. I, what? That was a joke, <laughs> right? I mean, because. I don't said, know. Who said that? Mark Lamont? Uh, I like Mark Lamont. I was like, that was funny. <laughs> me too. That was me funny. too. Yeah, he, he, he's a funny guy, man. Uh, so going into it, I feel like we were all just like, ooh, I don't know. Anthony got, you know, a better catalog, but it's just the way that it was set up. I was like, okay, music. And he was going into his new sh- newer stuff, right? Anthony music, or Anthony? Oh. Music did do like, he did he was like sticking, one. He was sticking to the basics. You know, he was like, I know where I'm at. Uh, You're saying music, music yeah, was sticking yeah. to the basics. I thought he had Anthony, one. Yeah. New he had song. a couple of new songs okay. that he did. He did. I mean, he did yes, uh, and I yeah, think he did, he did I do. I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's that's new. That's new ish. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Was it 2014? <laughs> Something like but that. But it's new, newer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was yeah. surprised. He, wasn't he didn't any do any footsteps, did he? No, he did not do footsteps. I feel like footsteps is probably, unfortunately, one of his more streamed songs. I just knew he was gonna at least throw it out. Which was footsteps? That's one Kalani. Kalani. Oh yeah, mm, he could have. Loki, he really could have. He could have done that. Um, Why are you doing seventeen? You know? Yeah, I, I mean it was a cool song, but you know the whole underage thing. Yeah, maybe we need to stay away from that. I don't you know? even know that song. So. About the chick he was talking to that he thought was old, you know, like twenty one or something. And she what is it, where did that song come out? What album? First album. Oh that boy, that's a twenty something year old song because you could never today. Well, you know, so I'm surprised I mean, they you know, even put it out no, no, there. No, no. It, it was it was clever in the sense. I mean, it was just a regular story and talking about he was talking to a chick and you know regular. invited her out to the club and he found out she couldn't get in because she wasn't twenty one. Then he found out she was seventeen and so he stopped talking to her. And then like you hear her voicemails of her calling him like, but it was a good, clever song back then. But nowadays, you know, age like, that well. we don't need to, we don't need to touch that right there. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. But, yeah so I think he pulled it out either way, even though he had the club behind him. I thought that was music. Oh, his, his family. All oh, the people. It was a lot. I mean, but Anthony it was a lot. Bart. Fucking Kevin Ross, Raheem Devon, Eric Robeson, Donnell Jones, Donnell Jones, Leela James. Come on now. Okay, he uh, brought all the people out for all the features and all of that stuff. JD or uh, Jermaine Dupree was DJ. And you know what? I don't think JD got enough respect. JD was like, so. I don't think so. I don't think he gets enough respect, period. He was out on the show. I mean, he was out just chilling at the DJ booth and maybe that's, you know, credit to just who he is as a person. He probably didn't want all the hoopla around him or whatever, but it was just like, oh, JD on the, on yeah, the yeah, JD yeah. as his DJ. It was like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know JD there, Michael Cox ain't too far behind, you know? Man, what is yeah. that? just reminds me. I don't, anyway. Um, that reminds me of like all the shows, music shows and stuff back then, yeah. like the the Diddy's, the Making the Bands, all that kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That stuff of having the artists or like hearing those names frequently and having them become household names because they were on TV too. Yeah, we actually, so after we were watching the verses, these two did not think that Brian McKnight and Joe would be a good verses. Okay. I would love for Wait, you, you real- we didn't think- Yes. No, you said the argument. I wasn't saying that Joe would win. I was saying that they have a like a comparable catalog of stuff. And Uh, y'all were saying no. no. The argument went up when you said we couldn't name ten (laughs) Brian. But that was what that was my point. Like Joe. So for you guys, saying that Joe had a lot. He was like Joe. Joe has has a lot. Yes. So I brought up that. It would be a good versus. They were no. Brian uh-huh. McKnight was smoking. I'm no, just like, yeah. hold on, wait. Some, one of y'all, one of y'all said that smoke them sounds like salt. I was Maybe like, you said <laughs> Joe would smoke Brian. And I, was like, I never oh, said I that. I just said it would be a Brian good was, versus. Like, okay, so Brian maybe like that's that. that's the confusion. That's what that is the confusion because when the topic came up, he was like, man, Joe would. 
absolutely be Brian McKnight. And we were like, wait, no, he would beat these songs. Yeah, no, I think that the two of them have a similar enough catalog to be able to do 10 to 15 songs of their strongest songs. Like, I think that would be, I can't I think mean, of somebody I, I, else that'd be better admit, for I'll that. admit, you did pull out more songs than I thought you could. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yes. <laughs> but, but, but that's a, that's a good matchup. It's, I don't see either side just really blowing away, but. We honestly just need to bring verses down to about 12. Let's just, sure, let's 12 just is a good it. number. I'm here for 20 that. 20 is just, we cannot be here all day anymore. Yeah, well, that, first. and if you don't have, like, we can't force them either, right? So right. it makes sense for a baby phase in a, um, back when the producers were going to. Teddy. Teddy, thank you. Yes, that, that makes sense. Yes. But even for baby phase, you know, I don't remember if every 20 was a strong 20, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was close. And, he and was the, close, though. So do you enjoy that? performance like when they just sit and play they shit or where they're on stage doing all that sit and play shit. sit See, I'm, at I'm, the house I'm give cool. me the play. story play. if cool. we gonna I'm be here that fake concert now we gotta rely on the crowd it's just like mm-mm. it's weird and then too like I wanna say what was the first one where we kinda deviated from that was it the Isley Brothers versus Earth Wind and uh-uh. Fire I almost so it was sometime before um, Erica Badu and Jill Scott, because that was one? Mother's Day. But they still year. were separate. They still were like streaming. Oh, they were playing you that together. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, like, I thought like it being like a bad. live stage. Was it the the, with, the beanie. Is that beanie the first man? one? I think so. It's, yeah. Was, I, mean, I, don't know. I don't remember what was before that. Okay. I don't remember, but it, it, just bring it back to the basics. But I mean, we also are not in like the. Well, I'm not going to say we're not in the thick of a pandemic, but it's not, you know, spring 2020 anymore where it versus really just yeah. I guess blossomed. I guess they really could tweak it a bit to, I don't know, because it, it, number one, it doesn't flow well. Mm-mm. It never flows well. It never. Well. We're sitting here listening to the DJs go back and forth. Then old girl was just playing. I was just like, can we just start? And then are you on this page? The nigga was cutting music shit off here. I was just like, uh, yeah, <laughs> they need to tighten up a little bit on the you know the whole production. The Instagram the was doing something. I don't even know how it was messing up. Because yeah, it was only one account. I yeah. guess I don't know. That's what happens when you try to monetize everything, but yeah. also too when the acts themselves are not professional. So going back to Nelly and Ludacris, Nelly not being prepared like that would have been a really good versus if Nelly had apparently he didn't follow the instructions on. Yeah being able to you know not have issues with the feedback and wi-fi yeah. etc so yeah, i'm sure and that's like, part oh, of it's why out here and yeah. blah blah nah that ain't it buddy so i guess with that they had to figure out ways to get everybody together so that you know it can be seamless but also how can we make money from this and da, 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 da. so i don't know give Ludacris another one yeah i just needed him go against ti you think so yeah you sure T.I. Yeah. wouldn't want to go against like a Who? somebody he else? He passed off on Gucci, right? Did he or pass Jeezy? off on Gucci and, and Jeezy? Because I remember somebody was throwing either Gucci or Jeezy at him. And then he was like, no, nah, them two need to battle. And then everybody was like, yeah, for sure, sure. And that's how they surprisingly made that one happen. But yeah, Ludacris can definitely go at T.I. I, I feel like hit wise sure too? hits and features sure but like they're just so different to me like their styles yeah. I feel like T.I. would be better with like a Jeezy or I don't even know about Gucci but, but, but so the thing with that is Ross. even though say it again he should have went up against Ross instead of 2 Chains. Mm. wait 2 Chains had a versus two against Rick Ross. Ross yeah Ross blew him out the water of course oh maybe I do remember that, mm-hmm. that was so a maybe a Rick too. Ross and T.I. You're saying? Yeah, they could do that. Huh. I feel like T.I. and Jeezy may have similar like style music and it would be better like a comparison to see one to one. But I think also T.I. has Atlanta, some. Huh? But, t- but yeah, but T.I. also has like some of his features and stuff that he would probably win on. Jeezy probably wouldn't have anything to match it with. I feel. Jeezy's got some features now. I guess, but I don't know. I guess I feel like T.I. kind of snuck in on a lot of stuff. Hmm. He even got, I mean, he got Soldier too. True. I would like to see maybe a, a versus uh, for the angels. So artists that are no longer here. Okay. We can have representatives from each camp. 
playing their like, best. Who, like Whitney? Prince and Michael. Why not? You know, I mean, uh, I I think it's safe to assume it, that it's going to be right. Maybe you do five, the best five for them, right? Instead, I mean, oh. obviously they both have way more than five, but they could people I'd see. Well, I'm saying those, make it, those would be the artists that'd be like, if we going to do it, we got to do 20. But see, I'm <laughs> thinking like, if you do 20, like Michael's clearly going to win, right? If you go into his Jackson five back, whatever. So if you get the strong, if you, whatever you think strong are their strongest team. Five. I don't even know if Prince can do. Dinner. I was gonna say hey, strongest five. Dude, so I can't say it would be more. Compa- I think it would be a harder battle versus like ten. Because at that point, like I, my guess would be Michael still has a better ten than Prince. But there, but you get Michael Prince is five. Play, Michael just press play on Thriller <laughs> or off the wall, and Prince is out of there for show. <laughs> Don't say for, for show. show. Don't say for show. Like Prince, I ain't gonna lie. I, you know, and I and, and I'm gonna sound like a stand, but too late. You it's are just a stand. A lot though. of Prince shit that I'm just like next, next, next. He's got a, he's got a lot of bad songs. No. I wouldn't say that, but I don't like a lot of his songs. I wouldn't call them right. bad though. I definitely prefer MJ, but I feel like even growing up, my dad was more. I mean, he liked he MJ as well, but he loved Prince. Yeah, There's and I feel like people that, that like, gonna be I, on one like, or the other. I guess so. Like when we was Michael. That that was our family. That was the household. The Y'all was a my Michael mom household. Was not blasting Prince. Okay, well, <laughs> you're so wasn't. mad about this. <laughs> it wasn't, you know. All right, not in this house. All right. <laughs> Um, all right, that was a lot of versus talk. Just really quick, we're gonna acknowledge that the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot. I don't even know what it's called. Bel Air. Bel Air. Yeah. It is Air. on Peacock. Solomon has been watching. I may start it. Oh, uh, it's entertaining for sure. Oh. Um, you haven't seen it? Nah. <laughs> I. Well, you I tried. Know I've been off. <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not for too long, y'all. Uh, but I'll say this. Um. I like where they're I like what they're trying to do with the story. You know, they're really trying not to make it a direct representation of the old show. They're trying to add in some new school flair like yeah. Ashley Banks. I mean, not Ashley. Uh, Hillary is not the dumb ditzy uh, character. She's actually, you know, trying to do some things in today's age. Like okay. as an influencer and things like that. Um, I can only see her person, being an influencer. Like yes. they're, they're really trying to do. Only problem so, I got is what is Jeffrey's role? Okay, I need like, to see that. I, maybe he's not the butler. Maybe I missed that. But um, and two, I'm really not sold on the Will character, man. Dang. Like I really want to. Like everybody else, I'm actually kind of okay with their their role in it. Like now, the I saw mom, a meme. the dad. I saw a meme that Carlton is doing drugs. Carlton. Wait, I let's like, not spoil it for the I, listeners in case they want to watch. Okay. I was like, you take that one episode of him doing Adderall and not uh, in there. Okay. All right. No, no, that from was the from the old. From the Fresh Prince. Yeah. Okay. You don't remember that? I just yeah, saw sure. things about that and I was la- I was laughing. No, no. Carlton's doing a lot. Okay. Um, He's almost like, well, he's like an antagonist. In this, but hopefully they turn that around and it, it, it's was, worth the watch. In the Fresh Prince, I feel like in the beginning it was Rocky. Like with yeah, him, yeah, but that was in a comedic sense, right? Okay, like you know, sort of like Pam and, and Martin, um, you know, the going back and forth banter. But this one, it's like this nigga is very unlikable. Like, okay, all right, maybe I'll check that out too. I have a long list of stuff to watch. Maybe one day I'll finally get to it. Also, Martin is celebrating 30 years since their pilot episode, and they are having a reunion special on BET Plus. So make sure you guys tune into that. Yeah, I saw a picture. (laughs) Um, Everyone looks good. And of course, Tommy is not there because he did pass away some years ago. So I wonder how they will, you know, honor honor him. him. Yeah. Remember him or. For sure. I I saw the photo they took, and I was like, who is that other dude? Who is the other one? Is he a fifth floor? Was no, that who somebody it? said it yeah. was Nipsey? Oh, the bar owner. I was like, yeah, Damn, it looked different, but okay, it's, yeah. But they all look good. Pam, uh, that's the best I've Cole, seen. To she, Martin. I mean, Tisha, look in yeah. a while. Is it- Tisha is funny, bro. She's a trip. <laughs> that's all I can think. Yeah, them two together, boy. Her and uh, Gina. What? What's her name? <laughs> You're thinking Tashina? of Tashina. We were talking about Tisha. Tisha, Tisha is a trip. Yeah, that's Gina. 
Tisha Campbell, yes. Yes. She is. Tashina Arnold Tashina. is Pam. Okay. Right. Okay. We good. I like them two together, is what I'm saying. Oh. oh. Very good chemistry. Unmatched. There, two women there's in something comedy. else. Yeah. They yeah, they play off well. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to give a shout out. I feel like growing up. I would hear people talk about Gina a lot, but when I have seen past episodes of Martin, Pam was bad. Like mm-hmm. Pam, and she still looks really, really good today. Yeah. So shout out to both Folks of them. Both of them are feelings, beautiful. Though. Folks be in their feelings whenever they're like, y'all had the nerve to have Martin convince she wasn't fine and do do. I was like, but that was part of the jokes. So I think yeah. that was part Did of it y'all though, really right? To have his butt ass ugly uh, person that he was making fun of. I guess that's true. Like you can't just be making fun of somebody and like, I guess the broad opinion is that, okay, it's kind of true. It has to be somebody where it's like, clearly it's not true, but it's just a joke. So maybe that's, that's it. I always thought uh, Pam was cute. I guess I always thought they both were. I was like, you can't go wrong. Yeah. I want your chocolate scoop or your vanilla. Oh, okay. Yeah. I (laughs) haven't really paid attention that much (laughs) to either of them, but like now as an adult, I'm like, oh yeah, they both were really cute. But I would hear, I would hear Gina mostly probably because she's the love interest you know she's a love interest and she and martin had a lot of the like relationship scenes and yeah. man loves to say i can't wait to find my gina true so that had probably something to do with I it yeah i haven't heard y'all talking about my g uh my pam to my tommy or some shit i've never seen right that. yeah like, people trying to find that martin gina. now i will say and this is me stirring the pot a little bit Um, For those of y'all who watched Martin in real time, you may have remembered that there was some stuff with Martin and and Gina back in the day. Right. And that's why the show ended the way that it did. They she refused to film with him. And so now things seem to be okay. So I'm assuming that won't get addressed in the special, but it is interesting how now all of a sudden everything is fine so i'm curious on what the real situation was if that has something to do with her husband and not necessarily time. her when did that well they're divorced, they're divorced yeah. now yes yeah i think that was part of it so i wonder so you're saying like they probably had some uh conversations it was like you need to kind of pull away from this this isn't professional anymore or something like that yeah like I don't remember exactly what she I mean I know that it was like sexual allegations I don't think that she outright said that he raped her I definitely don't remember hearing that it was I don't know what you're saying I think she claimed that Martin was like sexually harassing her or y'all we have to get the fact checks in but there was a there was a sexual reason why she did not want to film with him any longer and so the last season that's when she moved out to like LA or something like that or he yeah. moved to yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. Were filming in the same place right. or the same studio well not studio but they had separate scenes yes, yes. yeah um I don't know so I was gonna say so you're saying that you know since the divorce, that's when things got cool again. I I don't know. I'm that's just trying to figure out this looking from the outside in, seeing yeah. you mean, know. I, yeah, I heard the same rumors that there was some kind of sexual harassment going on, and you know, but but I mean that's good to show that you know things have been you know water under the, the bridge, and you know they can move on. I mean, how many years it's been? Maybe Tommy's passing had something to do with that. You know, when you start realizing life is short, and we had a really good moment in. TV and comedy. social media to yeah. push yeah. them to, you know, I hate to say push them together, but at the same time, everybody was doing these reboot yeah. reboots and everybody was like, so what about Martin? Everybody's yeah. still here. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And they were just like, okay, we should probably talk about this. Maybe so. so. A and combination of those. Yeah. And Pam seemed to have had a steady relationship with Martin. Oh, I know yeah. Pam, Pam and right, Gina right. are BFF. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but it is interesting. It is interesting how that was never like, I don't think we got the end of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, what yeah happened? That was before social media and everything. It was just like, you didn't really know much. Mm. All you heard was from the tabloids or stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So let's go on to our verses. So this week we are talking about your booze friends, your significant other's friends. Are they also your friends? Is that something for you? We'll use you, Solomon, as an example. Do you care to be friends with your girl's friends and vice versa? Do you care that she develops a relationship with your friends? So are we talking her male friends or her female friends? Period. Just any of her friends. Are you friends with 
um, your I'm girl's friend. I'm really trying to think of all the women that I may have seriously dated and the relationships that I may have fostered with her friends. And I can honestly say I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't think that if she actually had some cool friends that I'd be like, oh shit, I fuck with them a long way. I wouldn't. But unfortunately, I just hadn't had that problem. Yeah. You know, I have male or female. Yeah. I feel like even in the past relationships that I've had, so I guess trying to think about myself, if I've ever been friends with my boyfriend's friends, um, and I think it's always been a in a in the moment thing. Like, okay, we are together. I am cool with you from time to time. We can be in similar spaces. We can have conversations and it's not awkward while we're together. Mm -hmm. Um, Once we kind of break up, I think it's been, I have not. So here's 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 an interesting question. I'm sorry to cut you off. Have you ever had to save that friend's contact information in your phone? That's where I'm really coming from. I was like, I ain't even as so much as had their number saved in my yeah. phone. Like, you know, I'm hitting them up outside of, you know. So yeah. for me, it might be slightly different. So I have my friends, men's <laughs> phone numbers, but I will say the only men numbers that I have that are my friends is if they have one been together forever or mm-hmm. if they were like about to get married or married. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't really have that. But for me, I am all about boundaries. So that's Mm -hmm. in all aspects. And I am not one to ask my friend's man for his number. I have observed some behaviors in the past, 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 past of me and a guy that I'm dating and one of my friends being like, oh, give me your number. And I'm just like, "Um, no, No. (laughs) for what? Why do you need his number? Like, I don't even. You don't. I barely know this man. Why do you? Man. Why do you need to know? Yeah, like even my friends I, that are married, it's like, if I did have their wife's number, it's because I, like, you know, they've been married for so long. But aside, from I think that's having part a real of it. reason to call them. I would. Oh yeah, them. no, I don't have like ever real reasons. I I will say like I would have the number because my friend will be calling me from this number. Like, yeah, oh yeah, this so this a number. Oh, uh, surprise birthday. Um, yeah. yeah. Let you. me go ahead and save this. Right. So yeah. like we've done things like that, like me, my friends, like, oh, we got to hit up her man or whatever. Let him know to do X, Y, Z. But I've never been like, so you good? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Now, I have definitely <laughs> been in a position where I was dating a guy and he had a good friend and I really liked the good friend's wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that was my soul sister. The feelings were mutual. Mm. And then he and I broke up and then it was just like, uh, like, can we still be friends or whatever? And so, yeah, that relation, we're cordial, but, you know, we didn't take it to that next thing because, I mean. You're talking about you and the friend's fiance. Correct. So my ex in yeah. the the friend were like line brothers yeah. so you know it's just a little too whatever but yeah for me i typically like i like to be cool with my boyfriend's people but like i'm never gonna try to like actively try to set something up for us to kick it and whatever like Dang, that's, I guess, i'm not that girl i guess i do have a another friend she um i guess they were like married i was friends with a guy mm-hmm. i became friends with her and she and i we're still We're friends. Still friends. Yeah. Well, I mean, then, not saying that there's anything wrong with yeah. it. Yeah, you know, I, I think just it becomes that opportunity. It becomes gray after X amount of years. Like you're, y'all all become closer maybe after a certain amount of years, and it's just like, dang, especially like with yeah. the girl, like yeah Thanks, sorry and i mean genders too play a role for me so like i think that would maybe be the equivalent of solomon getting married and then me and his wife becoming really cool right yeah versus the other way around you know you getting married and i randomly becoming like 
BFS with your husband like I'm sure we could be cool but like yeah. I wouldn't like be like hey let's go get pedicures or whatever with your husband like I maybe would be with your wife if that makes sense yes right after so you know after some point in time there has to be like time has to pass yeah in my opinion for you to even be like how did you even develop right yeah because now I'm looking at you, both of y'all we only been What's together happening? a year you know. we mm. only been together a year that's not yeah. enough time yeah so <laughs> That's kind of where I would be with it. But I'm still not trying to kick it with y'all people like that at this point in time. We grow. But I mean, you have those people who, whenever they're in a relationship, they bring that uh, significant other into the fold. And you have those that keep it separate. Um, mm-hmm. Are you a, a separate point. or bring into the fold kind yeah. of person? It's, it's kind of weird, right? No, nah, it ain't that weird. We know the answer. Well, because I mean, when you think about <laughs> when you think about college <laughs> and you think about the black students, you know, it's a small group of people. So when you were dating, then it was like, OK, uh, we're all kind of having to do the same shit, whether it's BSA event, whether it's MPHC event. So everybody kind of commingles here and there. But now when you're talking about life dating, meeting a new person. And it's like clearly two separate entities and there's no gray as far as where your your lives intertwine. Yeah, I need to maybe work on kind of mixing the two a little if I'm really serious. I have know? not learned how to do that just yet. Yeah, we all learn. I never uh, I do have friends that are like that, like, oh, yeah, I just met this guy. I want him to come around, blah, blah, blah. And like, that's, you know, you start. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, not yeah. I'm not there yet. I haven't. Maybe I just haven't had a guy friend or a boyfriend that's just like fully like oh yeah like you can come i know we're just dating but like me and my friends are getting together like no i'll see you tomorrow yeah no i'm definitely we're keeping these worlds separate this is my world this is your world once we become well well, you gotta (laughs) but eventually it has to get there right eventually sure i dated somebody and was like hey let's get together Cinco de Mayo you guys can meet him you know at that point we had been dating five or six months I think so sure at that point yeah you guys can meet him but it's not anything beyond this little situation here for some time you know just what's baby the steps what's the time frame uh, uh. <laughs> I mean I don't Do know I would even I wouldn't even go that far, but I guess it really just depends on who you're dating. The person I was dating at the time when this happened, he was not the like go out person. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I also was not going out like that. So maybe things would have been different if we were not in a pandemic and our social lives were a lot more active. So he didn't, he had just moved back to Houston. He didn't have a lot of people here. So, you know, there weren't many opportunities for us to like mix and mingle like that. I don't know. I am just not the one. My friends be like, oh, you going to bring the guy that you're dating? No. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, we're bringing our husband. I will be there solo. You know. Uh, like, uh. Until I'm ready or yeah. until he and I are, are ready. I don't know, man. It's, it's it's almost like introducing them to your family. Like at the same it's point, a like, big I deal. To, it is like, I guess. And maybe because I don't do that often. Like when I do, then this may be indication like, oh, she really likes him or she thinks mm-hmm. that this is like going somewhere. If she wants, you know, for us to see if we get along, essentially. You know, I don't know why this reminds me of Martin <laughs> and how, you know, Martin had met Gina. They didn't know each other and how Pam is just all part of the crew now. And, you know, mm. they're all like friends. So um, I, it'd be interesting to see that, you know, play out for me i don't know what i'm saying like i'm i'm kind of looking forward to being able to do that or how it would play out yeah the whole yeah version of the two worlds it's funny because i don't even try to be your friend on social media for the for the significant other i now if you say my friend request what what are they talking about on their social media is it funny shit i'm always gonna follow a funny uh, content well you be on person. Twitter mostly I be on Instagram <laughs> so I'm like I mean Different if you found me okay maybe but I think Twitter's it a little I think Twitter's weird, a little right? different than it's Instagram yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah but I am not actively like oh that's such and such as do let me go ahead and you know add a friend request for what well, which I need to be friends for what, you need? what are we doing See, now sometimes, sometimes oh Leah I hold do. up what's going on oh. I, I add people okay I'm not that I'm nosy, but it's so funny. Like a friend of mine, this, just because she said that, it just happened recently. Because uh-huh. my 
friend's boyfriend posted something and she reposted. I was like, dang, I can't see it. And she's like, girl, send him a friend request so you can look at it. It's oh, so yeah. cute, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, are you sure? She's like, no, it's not weird. Just do it. Yeah, she like, gave you okay. permission. That's different. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like, well, it is right. weird. Yeah. <laughs> It is, but for sure, like she was like, Yeah, I let him know. I was like, All right, let him know I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's always um, interesting to me. I had a friend who um, I'm cool with her husband, but very casual. He's helped me with a few things. And so um, she saw something he responded to a message something with running something with running she was like what y'all talking about like <laughs> something with who like running cause oh. he's a run. yeah she's like what, what's going on and I'm like this was red him. flag red that, this was him. flag that low key like, though red flag <laughs> So, but that may be an indication of him. That may be an indication of what he's doing online. Yeah. Versus like, look, it could be they, both. But you know, the fact that she came to you with it, or did she come to you? Yeah. Okay. So she came to you. And I mean, she, it was joking. It was joking. It wasn't like mm. don't you know? Because it's nothing don't here. Mean. But it was funny to me. But same page. Yeah. What, what's funny? <laughs> Show me the meme. What, come, what are we talking about? It's no longer available. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, at that point, I'm pissed. All right. Facts. <laughs> Watch. Uh, it's like, am I ready for a relationship now? Uh, you don't think I you don't are? Having to deal with stuff like that. She better. I mean, are you doing Are you, are you doing you? creepy stuff on the low or no. doing stuff you shouldn't be doing? But who's to say he's doing creepy stuff? No, on the I'm, low. Just, just he, not I'm not. He's not. Tripping. But I'm saying for you, like, no, what no, do you no, have no, to no, be. I'm not. No, nothing. Okay, but what you never know. About? First, we were scared for Valentine's Day. Now What's really going on? Relationships? No, I'm not scared. I just don't want to deal with foolishness. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying. Someone said, come correct. Look, <laughs> look, That's I, all I'm saying. It's hard out here being single. I will say that. It you know? Is. I stand with you, ladies. And the frustration. Really? Man. All right. Really? What? I'm giving y'all support, man. I get Isn't it really now. Frustrating? I get it. You get it now? Yeah. How long you been single? It's been a minute. Are you single? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Mm. All right, don't let me get in a relationship. I'm about to annoy the shit out of y'all. Oh, uh, no, about my girlfriend, first. my it lady, won't even be my, my girlfriend. Dude. It'll just be her name. You know, I'm just dropping her name, Casual. Y'all better know who I'm talking about. I know, I, right. you know I, mean? I know that's right. I know that's right. Look, we gonna be friends with her. Hey, that's on y'all. <laughs> that's on y'all. No, will he bring her around? That's the real she question. Solomon, I already around. know. I Next told y'all I'm, I'm interested to see how the worlds would merge if I get into that situation. I wonder, you know, maybe this has been my problem this whole time. You know, maybe I'll I bring gotta, it to the maybe game I night. I'll, sooner. I'll bring it to the yeah. game night. So I'm got a new partner. Hold on. You know, hey, space <laughs> partner. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she can't play oh, space. Maybe look, she can't play space. Y'all. I'm trying to win. Leah and I right. are typically space partners if we're together. But let me tell you, Leah, I love you, girl. But if I give you a man and he know how to play, oh, we going to have to we gonna If have to I give you a man and he don't know how to play, it's going to be a moment before. Yeah, like, before we get here, I need you to know who my soft. partner is. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can learn how to play later. Yeah, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. Okay. If well, she can't play, we're going to learn. Yeah, we'll come back. We'll come just, back. Yes, yes. We're just not in front of people. We're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Two yeah. Something. Yes. I mean one on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Well, anyways, you guys, um, y'all have any final words for the people? No. no. Flying through February. Yes. Yes. LA. Oh shout out to Troy. In Dallas, actually. Um, all right. So if you guys liked what you heard, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media at He Said, We Said. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Peace.